I tried to find out how did Howard Stern behave while on camera. One of them just said, he's, he's unpredictable. Uh, Howard called me up and, uh, well, my music started. I, I started to dance, uh, but, uh, but he interrupted me. What, what, are you, what are you trying to prove? I don't understand what you're doing at all. And I and I had to scold him, saying, "I'm portraying underdog uh, respectfully and meritoriously through dance." Um, uh, I started back to my seat, um, but but Howard said, "No, no, come on, we want we want to see more." Um, I thought he was trying. I thought I thought he was through with me uh, uh, because of his attitude and tone of voice but but he said he wanted to see more uh yeah all right so i came well, back i finished my number um i thought um i thought i had i thought i had done a good job but then uh i had to wait in the gallery until the rest of the guests had come on and then uh, i i went down the hall uh I, I forget where I was headed for, uh, and I was thinking, oh, good grief, that guy just looked terrible, and, oh, oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't show me any respect at all. I never got, I never got to talk with him beforehand. Um, well then, um, yeah, uh, Stuttering John came on the scene and he wanted to talk with me so I I did have a conversation with him but 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 it wasn't on camera uh, under, uh, uh, Howard won't make fun of you oh boy I agreed to come but um, but um, when they had me take my spot in the grid uh, it was on the top level and they quickly pulled away uh, portable staircases. Um, as the show progressed, I, sh I saw that uh, Howard was still being uh, vulgar, and uh, um, most of the other guests exemplified the worst of human vices. The only other respectable guest uh, was Gene Reynolds. I didn't get a chance to uh, talk with him afterward, or uh, even before, because I think, um, yeah, when I walked into the room where the grid was, I saw how some of the other squares were marked. Oh, oh no. They were all, uh, they were all obscene or sexually explicit words or names. Only Jean and I had um, respectable, respectful, uh, respectable uh, designations. I, I had been nominated for an award, and I had to be there accepted. I said no, and I had to repeat myself many times. But then the woman said, "Hold on a moment." She put me on hold, and when she came back, uh, she said, "You must come. Anybody nominated for an award." is mandated to be there. So I was stuck. I was extremely afraid when I made the trip. Um, um, uh, there was a TV in the room where I, where I was waiting. I, I had time myself. Oh no, there was an advertisement for the episode to, was, that I was to make. The award figurines were pornographic. I ran out of the room. I tried to, I tried to get out of the studio. But I didn't know my way around, and two women uh, overtook me and forced me to return. So, uh, so when the episode started airing, uh, I was seated at a table, but I think my back was to the camera. I had my face down. I wasn't going to let the uh, uh, viewers see me. And then, and then someone said, for best choreography, uh, the winner is the under... People were calling me underdog lady. 
her Stern invented that term, and it was a it was misleading and false. And the public kept calling me that for years. Everyone, well, well, I had won I had won the award, but but since I had seen what the figurines looked like, um, I went up to give my speech. I said, I'm not accepting this award, and uh, I went over um, all the all the misleadings and uh, maltreatments I had gone through, and how. Underdog was now mistakenly believed uh, to be Howard's creation. Um, I know, I, I know, I made uh, a lot of denunciatory statements, and you, Howard Stern, are responsible. You made the program what it was, and now, and now you'll pay the consequences when you least expect it. Good. Well, I, uh, yeah. Um, I thought the audience would be struck still, silent, but but when I left the platform, they were they were screaming and applauding loudly and howling and even dog barking. Um, and then shortly afterward, that that ah, that that underdog fan club wrote me back, saying they were disbanding, they were abandoning me. Um, uh, they said. We have been besieged with complaints from parents and friends about your latest uh, Howard Stern appearance. How could you possibly have accepted? You should know better. You should have known he was putting you on, and you, you, you made a bad example for our children. So, obviously, you don't deserve our respect.